So welcome to Techno Dad Life and my name is Jeff. Today we'll look at the TP-Link AX1800 is one of the first new wave of low price Wi-Fi 6 routers. If you find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell button. So this is the TP-Link AX1800 or the Archer AX21, depending on where you look on the box. If you see a router that says AX, uh, that means it is Wi-Fi 6 compatible. And so Wi-Fi 6 means that you can run a whole lot more devices at a faster speed than old routers. This is very important now due to everything being Wi-Fi enabled and having homes full of Internet thing, of Things devices. So what's in the box? We have the router and a power adapter, an Ethernet cable, and some directions. If we look at the front of the router, we see a whole bunch of lights and four antennas. The antennas are beamforming to strengthen the signal towards clients and it uses high power FEM, which improves the transmission strength to strengthen the signal's coverage. On the back, we have a one gigabit WAN port where we plug in our internet and four gigabit LAN ports where we plug in our ethernet devices. There's also a USB port that supports drives formatted in NTFS, XFAT, HVS Plus, and FAT32. The USB port can be used for Apple Time Machine, FTC server, or a media server. I think that USB ports on routers are one of the most underused pieces of tech that is actually very quite handy. There's also a WPS button for instant connections, a on-off button, and an LED on-off button to turn off the lights on the front of the router for stealth mode. Inside there is a 1.5 GHz CPU that runs off a 12 volt 1.5 amp power supply. Setup is really, really easy. I used the TP-Link Tether app from my phone, and once I got the code scanned, I was able to set the router up in a few minutes. All router functions seem to be available from the phone app. You can also log into the router from a computer to access the same information. If we look at the phone app, once your router is connected, your screen will show the connected router. If we click on it, it will show us our current networks and if we have any guest network set up. At the top, it will show on the left we are connected to the internet and how many devices are connected on the right side. If we click on the network, we are given the option to set up an Amazon control of our router Yes, we can control basic function of the router with Amazon. So I couldn't figure out why. Why would you want to do this? But the one feature that I saw where maybe I would want to do this was turning on and off the get, uh, guest network with voice commands. You can also turn networks on and off just by toggling the switches. Next, if we press guest networks, we can toggle on and off guest networks in the same fashion. If we press tools on the bottom of the screen, we can go into fine tune control of our network. If we click on quick setup, I wanna show you just one thing you might wanna change. Click auto detect here, do not change. Now here we see smart connect. So smart connect means the router uses one network name and password for both 2.5 and five gigahertz frequencies. The router will automatically switch your devices to the network that would seem to be best use of your resources at the moment. I found that this caused my HomePod Mini to be constantly disconnected as the router switched back and forth. I switched this off and created two traditional SSIDs, one for 2.4 gigahertz and one for 2.5 gigahertz, and the connection problems went away. Another interesting feature is OneMesh. If you decide to extend your networks or you're having coverage problems, you can buy a compatible extender. The router will seamlessly create a mesh network as you move through your house. Share Wi-Fi creates a QR code that you can share to your friends so they can use your network easily. Amongst all the features on the router, there's the ability to automatically update your router on a schedule. No more need for your router firmware to be out of date. Uh, for some reason, this is not turned on, uh, so you have to enable it. 
So is this worth it? At the time of this video, this is the most fully featured Wi-Fi 6 router under $100. So if you need a router, this is a super solid choice. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and bye bye.